Hello Artsies, uh, I'd like to give you an introduction to Google Photos. Um, as we continue this, this distance learning business, um, we're going to be sharing lots of images back and forth. And I'm hoping that you share images of your sketchbooking, your brainstorming, as well as your final work. Um, and Google Photos is a really great tool that I'd like us to use. Um, and it, because it, it works better and it's more uh, seamless and it just works better for images than dropping images into Google Drive. All right. Um, so just to, to review um, where I'm asking you to put the photos at the end of the week, you're going to have this turn in doc here. Um, it's it's got the orange column down the middle, and that's what, what I'd like you to fill out. Anything that's in orange, I want would like you to fill out. And then you're going to fill in these boxes down the center column. All right, so I've got an exemplar that's posted on Google Classroom showing that. All right, so here, these photos, uh, just as a disclaimer, are not uh, responding to this challenge, but it, they are just there to show you what I'm talking about in terms of where to put photos and what to put down the center column. So uh, brainstorming, you take a photo of your brainstorming if you've done it in your sketchbook. You can also type into this into this center column too. Um, here are some work in progress photos. Um, I resize them because there's a couple of them. I made them fairly small. And then here's a photo of my final, final work. And then at the bottom, um, there are a couple reflective prompts and uh, here's the Google Photos link to my photos. And so that's what I'm going to show you how to do. All right. So Google Photos is one of the apps that you have at your disposal in Google Drive. Um, and it is really, really useful. And in fact, um, if you get the Google app, uh, Photos app for your phone, um, it's actually really, really seamless to take a photo and add it to uh, Google Photos. All right, if you have an Android phone, you already have Google Photos on, on your phone. You just have to log into your school account. Um, if you're an iPhone uh, like I do, uh, the Google Photo app on your phone is awesome. All right, so um, to access it from your computer or your Chromebook, um, your, this is your main Google Drive window. If you go to the menu or the waffle, like I like to call it sometimes, um, it, that'll bring up all your Google apps. And if you scroll through, depending on uh, where it is, um, here's your Google Photos right here. So if you click that that tab there, and I've actually already got the, the tab open, um, this is what Google Photos will look like for you. Um, and I use it a lot, um, so I've got a lot of photos here. If this is the first time for you to open it, opening it up, it may look uh, quite blank for you. Now to add your photos into Google Photos, um, I've taken photos of my sketchbook and I wanna put them into Google Photos. You're gonna go up here to the top that where it says upload. Um, and just like you're uploading a video to YouTube, you can upload photos here. And I've got this folder of sketchbook photos that I've already got on my computer. I'm going to select them all and add them. Okay, and in the bottom left-hand corner, you can see that they are, uh, are in the process of uploading those photos. And when they're uploaded, this window pops up, five items have been uploaded, and then it gives you an option to add to an album. And then that's what I'm gonna ask you to do. So you click on that option to add to an album, and you're gonna create a new album for your photos. My suggestion would be for each uh, challenge, uh, for every week that you're going to add a new album each week. All right, so click a new album. All right, and it pops up and it's going to collect those together as an album. Um, as just as this is loading, um, the great thing about this is the photos are, are nice and big and full resolution. Um, so you can really see it in really good quality. So I'm going to add a title. So this is my quarantine art week two sketchbook. All right. Um, and I, I do encourage you to like be specific when you're naming your album. Sometimes uh, we can have a tendency to be kind of vague with it and just say art, um, but they're all going to be art uh, albums as we continue. So try to um, put week two, week three, or the name, the challenge, the portrait challenge or, or something like that. And then I'm going to click the uh, check mark once I've named it. And there's my album. OK. And as I was saying, the great thing about Google Photos is you can you can click into it and it's a really, really high quality, uh, big image. And in fact, it's even got some editing 
options in here. So if you go to the edit button, it'll open up the editing window and you can change the brightness and contrast and uh, it's got filters in there too. Um, so here's some, some of the, the filters along, along the side and the editing window in terms of if you want to make it brighter um, and if it's a little bit dark when you took the photo, that kind of thing. Um, so um, it's a really useful tool with some editing right in the mix. Um, once you've got your album, what you want to do is you're going to share that album back. Okay. And so in the top right hand corner of your window here um, is your sharing button. So if I click share and you're going to go down here where it says create link and click that button, it takes a, it takes a little bit to generate a shareable link. All right. So once that shareable link has been generated, you can copy that. And that's what you are going to put. That link is going to, is what you're going to paste into. Here is my Google Photos link to my photos. So you post that, you return, it becomes a link. Bam, you're done. Okay. Um, so I'd like you to try that this week with your photos. See if you can create that Google Photos link with your uh, with your photos that you take of of the process. And, um, you can still drop them into this turn and doc as it shows in the exemplar, but I'm looking for high quality photos, all of the photos that you take for that particular week linked in a Google uh, album. All right, give that a try. Uh, let me know if you need help and uh, have a great day.